Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to make my famous macaroni and cheese using just a little bit of ingredients. I use the same exact thing every single time. Don't use any other ingredients or you're going to sabotage yourself. So first we start with boiling water and then I use more in salt and just put a little bit in it. I don't know, teaspoon, half a teaspoon, but just shake like that. And then I get my noodles. I use the same exact noodles. These are San Giorgio, San Giorgio, whatever. Elbow macaroni noodles. I use the same ones every time, just pour them in. I'm cooking tonight for about 15 people. So this pan will make about enough for about 20 people to eat and then some leftovers. So I'll put the salt in it just so the noodles can have a little bit of flavor. And then I also put in butter. Butter is a key ingredient. I use lots of butter. So this is not healthy. It's not gluten free. It's not vegan. It's none of the above. I'm sure it's about 10,000 calories. I put about a teaspoon of butter into the noodles while they start to boil, and then I'll probably put a little bit more butter in towards the end. So while your noodles are boiling, I like to grate my cheese. So these are the exact cheeses that I use every time: uh, Cracker Barrels, Extra Sharp Yellow, Lucerne Munstered, Lucerne Monterey Jack. I then I use um, Sargento Mild and Sargento this is Mild and Sharp. Um, three eggs for a pan of this size, half and half, I'll handle it, and French's yellow mustard. I also just use seasoned salt, Morton's again, no Lowry. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Because I was lazy, I had my son start breeding the cheese for me. So we don't need these three because they have already been created. Dump them in and you just heard the oven beeping. I always keep my oven to 350. So it's at 359. So you dump these in. I usually leave like a little bit at the bottom, but all of it's all in. So I'll leave a little of the mouth at the bottom just to sprinkle at the top of the noodles right before they go in the oven. Ashton, do you want to help me for this next part? Yeah. Come on. Can I come in now? Yeah. So Ashton is going to assist me with putting in the eggs. I always help you. She always helps do the eggs. So it's about three eggs. No, I always help you make the mac and cheese. Oh, okay. So it's about three eggs that we use each time, like I said, for a pan of the size to feed about 20 people. Um, honestly, it could be more, but you know, people be greedy and they love it. So we're gonna break the eggs and dump them in, right? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do that. We're gonna put in the half and half, the entire no. part in. Okay, do you want to put pour yeah. the entire cart yeah. in? Yes, yes. Pour it in and kind of like, you know, get it all mm -hmm. around so you have no dry cheese. Can you get me a big spoon? Yeah. And then I also put seasonal inside of the cheese mixture. So the top, that much. I don't know how much it is. That's good, yes, babe. And then Ashton usually helps me with the stair and I get it started for her because we want everything evenly dispersed in here. So we don't want the eggs to just be in one corner or the cheese just to be on one side. So I usually get it started for Ashton. And then she mixes it up really good, right? So. <laughs> Up 
So that's how it looks. Your cheese mixture. So we just set that to the side while our noodles are still boiling. Now that the noodles have boiled, um, I usually let them boil about 10 minutes. You don't want them to get too soggy. We drain the rest of the water out. And then, before you put them in, if you're using a ceramic um, glass bowl or something like that, that you have at home, but since I'm going somewhere, I'm using this aluminum pan. Even if I wasn't going anywhere, I probably would use aluminum pan, it's just easier. I like to go over the whole pan with more butter. So now we're up to about 90,000 calories. Go over the whole pan so that it's nice and buttery. And then we dump in our noodles. So now the noodles are nice and hot. So while they are nice and hot, we add in more butter. butter. All the butter. And you just kind of let it sit for a second and melt in. Since we only had about a half a pack of butter left um, when I put this in, we're gonna use about another half on this side just so it's even and it's super buttery. The noodles, you want your noodles to be so flavorful. That's a big part. Everybody thinks the cheese is the most important part, which it is, but if you have dry noodles, then you're gonna have dry macaroni and cheese. So you want your noodles to be nice and moist. While the butter is melting, you cover your noodles entirely with seasonal. Go over it a few times. And then I start to mix. So I'm going to put in more seasonal. Again, kind of the same way I did before, just covering the top back and forth. And this time I am also going to add in French's uh, yellow mustard. This I feel like it gives it an extra kick. It like brings out this taste in the butter and in the cheese. So now that you have your mustard, you shake it up. And I go over it evenly. Over top of the noodles. The same way I did with the seasonal. Up and down. And then we mix all of that in together. Get it in there good, mix it in. You should see seasoning and mustard all over all the noodles. And they're nice and buttery too because you got all that butter in there earlier. See how they're yellow, brownish yellow. I love that. I like for them to look like they have a tan. And then like I said, I'm a seasonal junkie, so I'm going to go in one more time. So now you bring over your cheese mix with all your cheeses and your half and half and it has some season all in there. And you just kind of dump it all over. Our work for the day has been to get it all in there evenly. Then again, more season all. So this time just a little bit. Okay. And we're gonna mix it up. If you guys are wondering why I have on pajamas, it's because the Friendsgiving event that I'm going to is also a pajama party. So we get to be comfortable and eat up all the food and don't have to worry about being in tight dresses or pants or jeans. So I am very happy. Let me see get all of that cheese up in there. All in there good. Every noodle is drenched with cheese. So it looks pretty good, I think. So I just like to go over and flatten the top before I put it in the oven. So it's not bulky and it's even everywhere. And then 
more cinnamon. Go over just a little bit, just so the top is a little brown. And then that extra bit of cheese that we had earlier that we didn't use, I just like to sprinkle that at the top. So every single bite that you get is super cheesy. We get some aluminum foil. Again, I don't want to use Reynolds wrap. You want to cover it. Uh, yeah, cover it all around the entire thing. Make sure no air is getting in on the sides. Make it tight. And then, it's hot, so you might need to wear gloves. Yeah, I think I need a glove. Or like a towel or something. And then we, remember we already did the oven to 350. And now we just throw it in the oven. Well, don't throw it in the oven. We slide it in the oven. I always do top rack. Close it, and then I do my cooking time for 45 minutes. So now it's been in the oven for 45 minutes, covered with aluminum foil. We're gonna take off the aluminum foil. And then we're gonna let it brown. I'm going to raise the temperature to 400. And then we're going to leave that in there uncovered bacon for about 15 minutes. So now it's all done. Go to Friendsgiving now so we can eat and it's good. Let me know if you guys try this out at home. Don't add in nothing else. <laughs> Don't sabotage it. It's perfect the way it is. Bye guys. I'm gonna make the best mac and cheese in the whole entire